Rival Terapulanes, Professor of C162E Geotechnical Engineering 2 of the Civil Engineering Department of Makua Institute of Technology here in Tomuros. And this is a video presentation of a scaled model isolated footing that is assumed to be resting on piles and was tested for the actual load capacity under the UTM and was compared with the theoretical calculations from widening shear, punching shear, and core flexure. Prior to the test of the footing, the compressive properties of concrete and the tensile stress of the steel were tested. This video will give the student an additional information about the real failures of a footing that are not normally discussed in the regular classroom lecture. Thank you and enjoy watching the video presentation. The objective of the study is to calculate the maximum capacity of the footing from wide beam shear and punching shear. To calculate if the design capacity of the footing is approximately equal to its theoretical value. And last, is to compare the actual and theoretical load P that can be carried by the footing using the universal testing machine. Theoretical sections for failure in footing. Failure in footing may occur where shear is more severe. In wide beam shear or punching shear, the location of the failure in footings is where shear occurs. The first type of footing failure is the wide beam shear failure. This is a type of footing failure that happens at a distance equivalent to its effective depth from the base of a column or pedestal where the crop starts to occur. Another type of failure is the punching shear failure. This failure is happening at a distance equivalent to half of its effective depth from each face of a column or pedestal forming a square section failure in the side. These cracks connect around the column making the entire section to detach the next type of failure is the flexional failure. This type of failure occurs due to the moment produced by the soil pressure below the footing. The flexional section can be completed by passing a vertical plane passing straight into a face of a hollow or a Joni Christopher Zimagat, and I'm going to show you how to solve the maximum safe load from the wide beam shear. The square footing have a four piles, so each pile has a reaction equal to P over 4. In this section, we can see that there is a two pile. Now let's solve the maximum safe load. The formula will be VU is equals to PBC. The VU is equals to P over 4 plus P over 4 and the PBC is equals to 0 0.85 times 1 over 6 times square root of FC prime times BD and the result will be 34,875.37 Newton. In this part, we investigated the certain footing. We aim to determine the maximum safe load that could carry. Hi, I'm Don Michael de la Cruz, and I will show you how to determine the design moment capacity of an isolated square footing resting on... observed that the footing had undergone moment failure. This result is in contrast with the predicted failure which was the one way shear failure. The discrepancy of the result could have been caused by erroneous method of this. The test conducted, it was observed that the footing model had the load capacity 
higher than the theoretical load capacity. Given this data, it can be stated that the footing model of the group is safe and adequate for load-bearing purposes. The group recommends that each factor causing error to be considered, each process must be conducted warily and with utmost precision, starting from the construction of formworks and reinforcement up to the mixing of concrete and curing process of the concrete.